Hi everyone, it's me. All right, we are officially on week three of our Pilates month challenge. And of course, this is the start of a new week, so we are going to be moving on to our next trainer today. And I'm really excited about this one. I mean, I've been excited about all of them. <laughs> but this week, we are going to do a workout program or schedule from Margaret Elizabeth. I have tried one workout from Margaret before, and that was after like so many recommendations from you guys telling me I had to try her workouts and I did and I loved it so I am excited now to try a couple more from her do like a full week program from her and see how that goes so let's take a look at this week's schedule because we just came off a very busy busy workout week with move with Nicole where we did a workout video or movement every single day so that was a seven day workout week that we did last week very busy felt like a lot but I did enjoy it as well going to Margaret Elizabeth it looked looks like she does schedule five videos per week. So that is a lot more what I'm used to. <laughs> so we're gonna be going back to kind of a more usual, regular movement schedule. So yeah, I'm just gonna make my way through one week of her March program. I'm not gonna be able to follow this exactly because I do see that she has incorporated one magic circle workout per week. If you don't know what a magic circle is, it's like another Pilates apparatus prop. Thing that looks like kind of a mini hoop that gives you resistance that you can like push against and stuff and I just don't have that I have a lot of equipment at home like I have dumbbells I have blocks I have a mini ball I have bands I have sliders I have so many things but one thing I don't have is the magic circle so I'm going to have to skip the magic circle video for now kind of sad about it I'm really really debating <laughs> like just buying a magic circle even for the future because those workouts do look very interesting and I would love to try them someday but yeah just for now I don't have one. So I'm gonna have to skip her magic circle workout which is actually the first workout <laughs> that I'm supposed to be doing this week and she does tend to start her workout weeks with the magic circle so I can't do those. That being said I'm gonna follow the rest of this program to a T as close as I can and that means today we are doing a standing Pilates with resistance band workout. This video is 22 minutes long so it's a little shorter than my usual 30 minute but yeah let's just go for it. <laughs> Here's to the good days, here's to the sorrows If this is a mistake, I know about tomorrow I don't wanna fight no more, cause I don't feel the need no more, no Just wanna make it stop <laughs> I got that on camera! <laughs> Should I put that in? No, don't do it! It was so funny! <laughs> Clocks! Yeah, for some banana bread Yeah, I'll make you banana bread Yes! <laughs> I love you. All right, all jokes aside, I thought this workout was really interesting. It was more interesting than honestly I thought it was going to be. I feel like I've used this type of mini band so often in different workouts now that I'm like, how else can you use it? Like how many other new refreshing creative ways can you use it? And Margaret surprised me and showed me new ways that I've never experienced before. So uh, yeah, definitely some different creative ways to use the band for more resistance in this workout that I found were surprisingly very effective. I feel like the movements themselves in this workout don't look that intense when you're like seeing someone do it. I don't know, it's just it doesn't look like it would be hard, but once you add the band and actually feel it, like I definitely felt these movements deep into my muscles <laughs> and felt the burn that way. So yeah, I thought that was really interesting. Definitely a shorter flow for today. It passed by super quick, but yeah, I really liked the different ways of throwing in resistance today. Very, very interesting. Loved it. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. I'm so excited for this package. <laughs> so first, I do want to thank Anna Luisa for sponsoring this portion of the video. I just received the shipment from them and I am so, so dang excited to see what is inside here. If you've never heard of Anna Luisa, you should definitely check them out. They craft high quality jewelry at very extremely affordable prices. And some great things about Anna Luisa are that they are carbon neutral from packaging to product and their designs are just so beautiful and unique, making you feel empowered, elegant, 
elegant and just feeling at your finest when you wear them. I have always gone through phases of like wanting to be a jewelry girly and I feel like the most consistent piece of jewelry that I always wear are earrings. So I did get a whole bunch of earrings in this order and I'm really, really excited to show you guys what I got. So I have four pairs of earrings here and they all come in these little cute baggies. Ah! First up, we have the Son earring. So pretty. Look at how like delicate. It's so simple, but somehow so pretty. <laughs> Next up, the mini love knot. And <laughs> when I saw these, I thought they were so cute because a lot of people like this knot kind of a shape for like home decor. You know when people just like get little knots and like put them on, I don't know, shelves and stuff. I thought these were so cute, the little knots. Third, we have the Suki stud earring. I think these are really pretty too. I like how they're just like circles, but they're empty inside. So you like see a little bit of ear in the middle. <laughs> Very simple, but also like kind of a unique design. And last but not least, these are the Claire earrings. These are super pretty. They kind of like loop around your ears. So they're a little bit different than the other ones that are just purely studs. Very, very simple as well. And I love a good simple stud earring because, you know, I'm always like moving so much, like doing exercise and I used to dance and everything. And I always got scared of like super, super dangly earrings. <laughs> because I was scared someone would like, you know, like yank them or they'd get caught on things. So yeah, I've been a stud earring girly forever. I also definitely have a lot more events to go to this year. What with like my wedding coming up, you know, there's always like wedding events that lead up to that. Definitely needed to up my jewelry and earring game. And I'm so happy about all of these pieces. So this spring, definitely check out Ana Luisa. Go treat yourself or maybe shop for a gift for a loved one, a family member, a friend. Of course, I do have a discount code for you. You can check out my link. I'll leave it in the description box below so you can find that easily and also like find the pieces that I have here in my haul. And make sure to use code JamieFogg20 for 20% off. Yeah, these pieces are just so dang pretty. I love them. <laughs> Breakfast time. I have, <laughs> Beyonce was just laughing at me because I have one avocado toast with like two eggs just blanketed <laughs> on top and some blueberries and greens. Of course, I am going to a baby shower today. I still find it like crazy that we're at the age where our friends are having babies. Like we're all getting married, we're having babies. The 30s have truly arrived. Spending my Sundays going to baby showers. When I was at um, Dollarama yesterday, I was getting like baby like gift bags and like a little baby card to like wrap my gift in. I was like, wow, I'm 30. It like felt like such a 30 year old moment, like going to the store to buy like a baby themed like gift bag and stuff. I don't know, it like hit me. <laughs> even like buying the gift itself, like that didn't even hit me. It was buying like the gift bag, like going to the card section and looking like for the baby <laughs> cards. I don't think I've ever bought a baby card. <laughs> Yeah, you haven't really witnessed any babies being born. It felt really 30 year old. <laughs> now I'm gonna join my breakfast. I'm gonna go to the baby shower later. Ah, happy Monday. <laughs> let's see what we have for today's workout. Okay, let's see. 35 minute to arms and abs mat Pilates class. Resistance band, light weights, and slider optional. Ooh, okay, so we have the opportunity to use a little bit of equipment today. I haven't used sliders in a long time, so that'll be fun. Today's workout is 35 minutes long, and I am starting a little bit later than usual today, so let's just go. <laughs> Stand on the opposite shore, hello Ramona. I reach through mysterious ceilings, my only hope. I look for the things I don't know. Breakfast. There is toast under these eggs. <laughs> Breakfast sausage and greens. Fiance is talking about crustless bread. <laughs> I like crust. What's wrong with crust? so hard and dry. Mm. Well, would you want bread that's just crust or with no crust? Uh, like normal bread, with both. <laughs> what do you mean just crust? Let me know in the comments. Are you team crust or no crust? That's the topic of the day. <laughs> So 
we did Pilates versus strength today, or not versus, Pilates plus strength. What was this called? <laughs> Pilates meets strength. That's the word she used. <laughs> so yeah, I was really excited about today because I felt like we were going to do a little more intense strength work, like with weights, get back into a little bit of like a heavier lifting kind of a style of movement. And we did do a little bit of that, but I think today's workout was less intense than I thought it was going to be, like than I was expecting, at least to the glutes part. For me, the glutes part was not very hard at all. The upper body body part was all right and the core part was all right. Maybe that's just because I'm used to like, I don't know, Caroline Gerben style of glute work and her glute work is absolutely insane. So I feel like my glutes are just a bit stronger than that at this point. I feel like the first workout I ever did from Margaret was a Pilates meet strength. And I remember enjoying that one a little bit more than today. I can't really pinpoint or remember what the like specific difference was, but I just preferred the other one better, but that's okay. We're all gonna have preferences on workouts we like or don't like even from the same trainer. I think I mentioned this in like the last video that I tried her workout in, but I feel like she's a really, really excellent, amazing trainer. If you are a beginner getting into movement and kind of need to take it slow to figure out like what's going on in your body whenever you're learning a new exercise, Margaret is really good at that. She takes it slow. She explains things very thoroughly and yeah, definitely just like takes the time to make sure you are able to catch on to the move before we just like go 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 for me i'm kind of like i like to go 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 more because at this point i do catch on to different movements and sequences quite quickly so yeah just like a little slower pace for me personally but if you're a beginner and you need to take that extra time these workouts would be absolutely incredible for you all right yeah those are just my thoughts from today i feel like it's been a while since i've had soup for breakfast on camera at least mm. I think it's so good though. Paige, do you like it? Bet. Do we have a topic of the day? Oh, I have something exciting that you guys are gonna be interested in. Growing Nanas and Lily Sabri are doing a collab. Nice. Very, very interested. What kind of collab? It looks like they filmed workouts together and then I messaged both of them and I was like, whoa, what's going on? And they're like, you're gonna love this. <laughs> yeah, I wonder when it's gonna be released. Let me know if you wanna see me try it. Cause I feel like Growing Ananas is like one of my go-to gals now for workouts, but I haven't done one of Lily's in actually a very, very, very long time. I wonder if it'll be out by the time this video goes live. Cause this video, I'm like filming two weeks ahead. So maybe it'll be out, but I don't know. For now, it's news and it's a mystery. <laughs> and apparently Caroline's releasing something in April. I heard. I've never seen proof of this, but you guys have told me in the comments that Caroline is releasing <laughs> something in April. I don't know how you know, but I feel like there's gonna be a lot of stuff. There was kind of like a lull with programs and now it's like everyone's like coming back. And Madfit has like a new like yoga program on her app now. Oh, what am I gonna do first? Caroline. <laughs> She's my favorite. Let me know what you're the most excited to see me try. been wondering where the intensity has been this week and today we got it. <laughs> I love, 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 love mini ball workouts and I've only really done them from Move With Nicole and now I've tried Margaret and I can confirm that the mini ball just always makes core work so much harder for some reason, <laughs> like so much harder. <laughs> so yeah, from now on for core workouts, I'm only gonna be doing mini ball core workouts, that's it. <laughs> I've decided from this point forward. But yeah, anyways, loved this workout so much. It packed the intensity that I wanted to, although it was still slow moving because we have that nice Pilates control in here. But yeah, whew, 
My abs are gonna hurt. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. I'm sorry I didn't show my post-workout like breakfast yesterday. I usually like to show you what I eat after I work out, but yesterday morning was just a little bit hectic. I had a lot that I had to do before working, but I basically had the exact same breakfast as I did the day before, so you didn't really miss anything. <laughs> Today, though, is the fifth active day for this week, so it is the last workout we are going to do from Margaret for this Pilates month. And as I mentioned at the beginning, of this video, Margaret does like to start every workout week with a magic circle workout, which is a piece of equipment that I don't have. So because we skipped the day one magic circle, the next workout on her playlist now is actually week two magic circle, <laughs> if that makes sense, if you're following that. So obviously we still don't have a magic circle, so I'm going to skip to week two, day two. And today is actually a standing Pilates core workout with light weights. It's a 25 minute workout. So yeah, we're gonna do this to end our Pilates workout week for this week. <laughs> making some breakfast, but let's have a little chat about that workout. I don't know, I just feel like that wasn't very like intense, <laughs> at least not in my core. Probably honestly my least favorite workout this week, which sucks because I hate ending workout weeks on like not the best note. But as I've mentioned in a previous video, just because you like a trainer doesn't mean you have to love every single workout they do. And I still love Margaret and I still have so much respect for her. But today's workout, I just don't think was for me. I found it actually a little bit strange honestly because today's workout was called obviously a standing core workout and I kind of felt today's exercise everywhere in my body except for in my core <laughs> and I know we were definitely like my core was definitely engaged like we were balancing on one leg like the stability that definitely uses core muscles I just like didn't feel it so much in my core honestly my arms were getting more tired than my core was and I don't know what little weights she was using in this video she was holding like little rectangular looking things. I don't know. Today's workout just, I guess, wasn't for me and that's completely okay. But yeah, I'm just gonna make breakfast and live my life. <laughs> okay, so here is breakfast. I made a little egg and some toast. I actually toasted the toast in the pan instead of the air fryer today and I'm so excited. It's gonna taste so good. <laughs> Apple, some cheese, and some little like pepperoni slices. Very random, I know, but they're on sale and it's kind of like a charcuterie, a little picky plate kind of a thing. Honestly, like any type of cheese with apple tastes so good. I don't know what it is about it, it just slaps. <laughs> mm. As you can tell, it's just me today. Someone got mad outside. <laughs> Fiance had to go into the office super early this morning, so sadly, it's just me. <laughs> I know a lot of you actually love a fiance because he's the funny one of the relationship, but you just have me today. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> so yeah, today wasn't my favorite workout, obviously. Would have preferred ending on a good note. Like the workout yesterday, I absolutely loved. So if you're gonna try a Margaret Elizabeth workout, definitely check that one out. And you do need a bit of equipment for that one, like the mini ball and the band. But honestly, if you don't have a mini ball, I got mine for like 15 to 20 bucks on Amazon and I've been loving every mini ball workout that I've ever done so to me that's definitely worth it. Yeah I just wanted to talk a little bit about like if I'm getting bored of doing Pilates or not because as you guys know I usually like to mix up my workouts a bit more but this has actually been my first time ever doing like purely just Pilates and I don't feel like I'm getting tired of it. What I do feel though, especially after this week, is that I just want something a little more intense. I feel like Margaret's workouts are a little bit lower intensity in general, but I feel like in the previous weeks, like when I did the Kaylee Daniels week or the Move with Nicole week, those weeks were pretty packed with intensity that I wasn't really missing out on anything. I still love Pilates, I still love Margaret. 
Oh, yeah, so good. But yeah, those are just my overall thoughts coming to the end of this week. That means we have officially finished week three of our month-long Pilates challenge, which means we have only one week left, and next week's trainer is a good one. <laughs> so if you did like this video, please leave me a like and a comment. If you don't know what to comment below, let me know what workout you're doing today or if you're having a rest day. If you like me, subscribe, do that bell thing, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!